pull back. Actually, I saw this right here. Poked that a little bit. Saw how weak it was. Pulled the uh, floor mat back. And yeah, not good. Found that the rust was a little bit worse than it looked. So uh, cut this all out. Starting to uh, rebuild what I cut out here. So that's going to be a long process. I think I'm getting the, the difficult part first. You know, this you're not going to see. So this can just be some flat sheet metal, which I've got plenty of over here. And uh, this mount has actually started to bend the floor up, if you see, uh, just because that metal has gotten so weak. So I found these unique little uh, things here, which will make a perfect new area for the body mount. So it's coming together a little bit longer than planned, but so far so good. So here's how I'm fixing this. First I cut out all obvious rust. And you can see here over this uh, mounting area that the floor actually just rusted away. You can still see uh, the spot welds where they were. And that just all rotted away. I ground it all out and it uh, left as dust. So what I did was I jacked up this area here uh, with some wood and a jack. Kind of sketchy, but it worked. And then I raised that up enough to where I could unbolt the mount and pull out the mount. Now I've got some room in here where I can uh, cut this rotted area out because you saw the mount was just pushing right through that whole area and I'm going to have to rebuild that and then reinforce it. So I'm going to start there and once I get that done then I'll worry about the floor because that's just sheet metal. Alright, making a little bit of progress. I cut the old rust out as you saw and I happen to have these things are from inside of like a big office printer that I took apart years ago and of course I'm a hillbilly, so I had them hanging my garage wall for years, thinking I might use them someday, and they worked out perfect for this because they have a little recessed area, and it's not quite deep enough, but I may stack a couple washers to fill that gap, and I'll be perfect. Uh, right now, um, when I when I put them out under there, it fits snug tight, but you also got to remember this area, is, this whole area of the cab is sagging down a little bit, so when I'm all done. I will uh, lift that back up with a jack and slide a couple washers between the mount and that. So uh, back to welding and once I get this thing all uh, welded down I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cutting out my new panels for the floor. Alright new piece is all welded in. I'm going to go around uh, the top and the bottom and apply some uh, seam sealer just in case I have any pinholes. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on that hole up there and then get my mount to fit correctly. I'm going to need a couple washers to put in there to space it out a little bit and I will be good to go. Alright, I am itching to drive this thing. So I'm working on my last template for this other hole here in the floor. And what I've done is, uh, it's, it's a weird, it's not a flat surface like the other one. It's kind of curved, it's got some... Uh, compound angles there to it so what I did was I put down a piece of paper on the inside and I lay the Mac down back over it to make it flat against the hole and now I was able to get the paper flat against the hole and get a an outline of the exact hole so I'm gonna cut trace, trace this onto uh, sheet metal and cut this out and probably have to do some bending and whatnot, uh, possibly some more cutting to get the bends I need, and then weld it in.